What is going on, everybody? How are you guys today? Happy uh, Tuesday. Yeah, today's Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. Uh, the, the, uh, the days right now are kind of a blur. Anyways, I hope you guys are having an amazing, amazing week. Hope you guys are killing it. Now, uh, I've been asked to kind of put together and condense all of my Facebook knowledge uh, after, you know, spending quite a bunch of money on ads and be managing ads for the past six, seven years. I've been asked to put together a easy to digest um, guidebook, okay? An easy to digest way of actually sharing with you guys my content and actually I put it together. It's called the Facebook, the Ultimate Facebook Ads Guidebook and you can get it at Ads Guide 2020. If I'm, got, if I, if I'm having this, that right, it's ADS, adsguide2020.com. So put that in your browser and you'll be able to get it. It's pretty inexpensive and it's pretty cool as well. So adsguide2020.com. If somebody would go ahead and put that in the comments, I would really, really appreciate it. Now, here's something that I realized after spending quite a bunch of money on ads and uh, something that, um, that I wish I knew when I started advertising, uh, specifically on Facebook. I've been doing this for a while on several channels, but Facebook, um, you know, specifically allows you to do this, uh, which is basically, when you're advertising on Facebook, you're basically doing two things, and that's it, okay? People tend to overcomplicate it, people tend to, to make it difficult. If you want to sell somebody a product, make it difficult. If you wanna help them uh, achieve something, make it easy. That's what Frank Kern, uh, one of my friends and mentor used to say. So. What happens is that I, I realized this and then the minute I started applying this, I, it, everything became so much easier, right? When it comes to selling. So here's basically what you're doing when you're advertising on Facebook. There are two things that you're doing when you're advertising on Facebook. Thing number one is you're building audiences. If you're putting the right type of content in front of the right type of people, people will engage, people will watch your videos, people will click on your ads, people will message your page, people will visit your Instagram profile. And with all of that data, what you can do is to build audiences. So step number one, what you're basically doing on Facebook is building audiences, right? And step number two, what you're doing is selling to those audiences. So again, if your offers are congruent with what step one was, if your offers are congruent with what the marketplace want and your offers is a really good offer, then you will be able to monetize those audiences much faster. So that's basically all you're doing all day long. You're A, building audiences, and B, selling to those audiences. When you start understanding that Facebook is a building audiences game, everything changes. When I understood that, everything changed for me because I wasn't as focused as making a quick dollar, but I was mostly focused on the mid and long term. Granted, an advertising campaign needs to be profitable, okay? An advertising campaign needs to be profitable and as fast as humanly possible. But what happens is that when you're advertising, you're doing those two things. Number one, you're building an audience around a subject, whatever your subject is, whatever your marketplace is, whatever your, a, um, whatever your, a, um, uh, your, your product is about, so that is number one. And also, number two, you're selling to those audiences. When you understand that, Facebook ads will become really easy game. Because once you build those audiences, uh, for instance, on a video view side of things, you can target people that have watched 25% of your videos up to 95% of your videos. You can target them for the next year. Yeah, you heard that right. You can target them for the next 365 days. That means that if you're watching this video right now and I run an ad, I can target you with my ads one year from now. Tell me which network allows you to do that other than, for instance, YouTube or Google that allows you to target people for, for the next 540 days, which is a year and a half. So you watch a video, you consume something today, and then a year and a half later, you're still getting ads from that brand, from that business. So that's mind-blowingly good for me, okay? And those audiences tend to stick and build, and they tend to buy stuff from you, okay? So at the end of the day, that's basically what you're doing. What you're doing is building audiences on Facebook, A, and B, you're selling to those audiences. If you wanna learn more about that, go to uh, AdsGuide2020, it's somewhere around here, go to AdsGuide2020, 2020.com, get the guidebook, it's pretty awesome. This is one of the things that we discussed there, but I also show you how to create good ads, how to, what type of ads to create at each step of the funnel, and it's pretty, pretty amazing. I hope that you guys have an amazing day today. Go crush it this Tuesday, I'm rooting for you. If you need anything, let me know. I'll see you guys soon, bye-bye.